Hello students, welcome to the session on shivering. So, shivering it is being covered in the part 1 also and it is being uh, explained in the part 2 of the hydrotherapy. It is the main symptom which we have to take care of before, during and after the treatment as such. Now, coming to the definition of the shivering as such, it is the involuntary contraction of the voluntary muscles as. So, wherever there is the involuntary contraction of voluntary muscles, we can just say that there is shivering. So, you know that there will be uh, shivering, I mean uh, there will be contraction of the arms and legs, leg muscles. So, that is how we can just make out that there is a shivering. Why shivering happens? It, is, it happens whenever there is change in the body temperature that too when the temperature drops down. So, it is not change means it, it does not mean that there is increase in the body temperature. So, whenever there is decrease in the body temperature there will be shivering because shivering is one of the process of heat production in the body. So, smooth muscles or muscles around the organ start shaking to produce warmth. So, there will be release of the ATPs or the energies for the demand which is being created in the form of decrease in the heat. So, whenever there is decrease in the heat production in the body, these areas are being stimulated and they release the energy in the form of ATPs by shivering. So, here whenever we relate the shivering to the hydrotherapy as I already told you shivering should be taken care before the treatment, during the treatment and as well as after the treatment. So, before the shivering I mean before the treatment if shivering occurs then it says that there is already less temperature in the body. So, we have to modify the temperature of the water. So, usually whenever person has sh shivering feeling or chill feeling okay, before entering into the tub itself you should uh, see that the temperature of the water should be either neutral or hot. Then you can also replace the general cold application with neutral temperature and hot temperature as well as you can just replace the general application with the local applications. So, instead of immersions, instead of cool packs, instead of neutral packs, you can also just go for fermentation over the body. Okay. Fermentation usually it is given over the spine because spine is a reflex area for entire body. So, it has its effect all over the body. So, you can just go for the fermentation over the spine, then you can also go for fermentation over the palms and soles. So, shivering has to be addressed if it is occurring before the treatment itself, it should be it should be tackled first, then you should modify the treatment, then you should give the treatment. Otherwise, when person is having shivering, it says that there is already decreased heat making capacity. So, cold is contraindicated, general applications are contraindicated. So, go for neutral or hot instead of cold temperature and preferably local treatments. That is how we just go for the uh, precautions before the starting of the treatment as such. So, modify the treatment itself. So, usually this occurs in low strength weight group. So, there is a category in physical coefficients which says that if you have low strength weight with the low height weight, you have to go for alternate application. That means to say just go for hot application in the beginning, then see for the response, then if person does not have shivering to improve the strength, just go for cold application later. So, shivering has very important factor. So, when we are categorizing the people depending upon the physical coefficients, we should uh, see that whether there is any shivering or not. So, that we can just modify the treatment. Next during the treatment, if person develops the uh, shivering, that also says that there is faulty administration by the attendant or there is faulty prescription by the physician. So, it says about the incomplete reaction 
okay so there is faulty prescription from the uh, physician as such so physician did not go for the dermograph he did not see the response of the body so he has prescribed it okay so it is faulty prescription and when shivering develops during the treatment it also says that administration of the treatment is not proper by the attendant so proper precautions may not be taken like we just go for hot water drinking during the cold application and we just go for uh, hot or steam bath hot enema or steam bath so all these if they are not given very properly then uh, the person the attendant who is administering the treatment may not be right from his part so shivering during the treatment it denotes the incomplete reaction so body is not able to respond very very properly so it is responding in the form of shivering so it is one of the distressing symptom so so shivering after the treatment it says that there is increased duration of the treatment okay so that is not uh, very much suitable for that particular person so prolonged cold application may be responsible for the shivering so after the treatment whenever you just uh, or notice the shivering you have to see that you are prescribing the cold uh, you know cold water drinking for the person and you can also go for hot application over the palms and soles or you can also go for hot water drinking or you should ask the person to wrap himself very immediately with the dry cloth so these are the different ways how you can overcome the shivering so many times the shivering after the treatment it says that there is prolonged application so prolonged application of cold and there may be prolonged application of the hot also resulting in exhaustion and less heat making making capacity resulting in uh, shivering as such so whenever you go for shivering at different phases you have to take the precautions here the visible shivering can boost body surface heat production by 500% so the heat making capacity of the body can be more by shivering as such so shivering can warm up for so long and that is why a person will use more of uh, muscular energy and person may feel run out of the glucose so there may be hypoglycemia so here the physician should take care of the shivering uh, episode maybe before during or after the treatment in the same manner that means after whenever shivering occurs stop the treatment very immediately modify the treatment and go for the supplementation of the energy in the form of glucose or the food that is uh, that is very very important along with the proper rest to the person that is how we can just tackle the shivering in a person and whenever we say shivering occurs in any of the treatment we call it as untoward effect or undesired effect so when we say it is a undesired effect it's our duty to see that treatment will be stopped in immediately and person can go for complete response in the body that's about the shivering as such Thank you.